have been a big help with uh, just everything and it's time to give back to him for the holiday season. My dad's been talking about a snowmobile for a long time so I'm gonna drive to his work today and surprise him with a, a new snowmobile that my buddy was selling. Well, used snowmobile but new to him. Sexy as hell. That's cool because it's yours. No, yeah. it's not mine. That's yeah, yours. Bullshit. It's yours. No, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's> so juiced. <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a tease that you can't ride it right now, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very, very welcome. <laughs> Yeehaw! Have a good day at work. Bye. Well, I'd say he's excited. <laughs> okay, now time to go to the shop. Got dad's snowmobile all nestled safe inside. Now let's jump outside and get camping. Well, one of the most asked about cars on this channel is back, baby. I know some of you maybe thought that I got rid of this thing, but Bugless is alive and well. Tis the season, and that means that my least capable vehicle is gonna need to be put in storage pretty soon here. As you can see, snow has been starting to fall here in Minnesota, and we're only going to get more. So I thought it'd be fun to go on one final camping trip for the winter season with the bug. It being front wheel drive and needing new tires, we got to put him safely away within the next couple days here because we're supposed to be getting a really big storm here. So Just because the bug's not the most practical doesn't mean it's not fun. Out of all my vehicles, this is one of my favorites just because of the amount of attention miles it gets while on the road. I'm also always amazed by how well this thing handles. For a front wheel drive Beetle, um, it's a lot of fun to drive, it being a TDI. One would think that this thing would just spin and sputter in the snow, but we're cruising. Maybe wondering why I'm dressed like a goofball. Um, second rut's on, and I've been doing a little bit of deer hunting. This is all I really had on me, so. Here we are. But we're going on a 40 minute drive north. And our first stop's gonna be the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, definitely a head turner. All right, we're at the grocery store here in Two Harbors, Minnesota is where my house is. Some of you guys have been asking about the house too. Um, I'll leave a link to the Airbnb listing. You guys can actually stay there if you'd like. Stopping at the super one here, picking up the ingredients for beef bourguignon, which is one of my favorite meals to make. Um, used to be a celebratory dish for my family and I. So since it's close to the holiday, I thought it would be fun to make in the back of the bug. 
Thank you very much, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You're all right? Sorry. Oh, geez. Yeah. Man? Yeah, what's up, man? Oh, Maver. my God. Nice to meet you. I How's swear I saw you walk through the door. I'm like, yeah, thank you. Are you, you from the area? It? Yeah, I live in town. Here. Nice. Do you mind if I get a picture? Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, super nice to meet you, man. Yeah, Thanks you for too. watching the videos. Appreciate the support. Tomato sauce. Tomato soup. Tomato sauce. Shake it, bacon. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You too. No pen, eh? about paid for a campsite too but I decided to keep the money in my pocket and see if I could get up and I'm glad I did because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to a campsite what are the odds this is open no way nice Honey, I'm home. Okay. Well, turn on the old jack right here. Where is my super suit? There's my thermometer. There we go. Okay, so we're working with zero degrees Celsius outside and five, five inside. All right, with it being chillier outside, I ended up bringing my big puffy bag and a heater just in case it gets cold. But right now, it's relatively comfortable in here. It's definitely like five degrees warmer than it is outside, so I'm imagining it's going to get even better once we start cooking. So what I'm making tonight, I touched on it before, is beef bourguignon. Um, normally, this recipe takes forever, um, but tonight we're going to be using the Instant Pot and the jackery to make our meal. So, um, never made instant pot beef bourguignon before, but I imagine it's gonna be pretty good. So, first things first, I am going to get a couple paper plates out, and I'm gonna begin prepping my veggies. Also need to give a quick little shout out. What's up, brother? I love your content, story, all of it. I'm a chef by trade and saw your knife broke and I decided to get you a new one. I have a truck bed camper also. Peace out, brother. Well, I don't have your name, but I did get some new fresh knives from you. So thank you very much, um, nameless man. I appreciate you. We're going to be using these knives today to cut up our meats. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Thank you. There is a uh, address in the description of each one of my videos for where you can send stuff to if you'd like to send stuff. Um, appreciate it. All right, I'm going to begin by cutting up some meat.
This is just a chuck steak. Don't need fancy meat for this. All right, there's our steak cubes. I couldn't find packs of bacon, so I decided to buy salt cured pork belly, which is the same thing as bacon, pretty much. Well, it is, just not cut. I'm going to use oh, that much. Alright, first I'm throwing the bacon in here. I'm gonna brown it up. Get some oils going in the bottom of the pan. Woo! It's getting steamy in here. It's a very involved dish. There's a lot of things that go into it, so. But in the end, it's all worth it. Oh my gosh, we really smoked out in here. It's not even smoke, it's just condensation. I wonder if it's because it's so it's humid in here now. It is smoky. Um, this seemed like a better idea when I did it, but it's, that's flour. Alright. Put this back in. Bring home the bacon. Pressure cook. Pressure cook. All right. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup. Can I have a break. The recipe's so involved. Um, pressure cooker makes it a lot easier. Usually that recipe would take me like close to four or five hours, but we'll see. It just took me half hour for prep and cooking, and then 45 minutes in the pressure cooker, so we'll see how good it is. I'm excited. All right, pressure cooker set for 40 minutes. Got it relatively cleaned up in here. Some rosemary olive oil bread. Mmm. I definitely can feel some moisture inside of my base layer now. Since I was cooking all that stuff, I'm hoping that didn't make my sleeping bag and whatnot all wet. Bug's nice and cozy right now. I'm gonna shut this big vent for now. Keep some of the heat in. Shut this big vent as well. If you guys remember, I actually insulated the roof of the bug. I think that's helping retain a lot of heat right now. Although the walls are, well, look at all the condensation on the walls. It's kind of crazy. See, 
equal thin layer of water. It's crazy. I can hear the uh, the lake and like the waves crashing into the rocks. It's kind of fun how uh, similar Lake Superior is to like the ocean. All right. Oh. Well, that's staying outside. Okay. Should be thicker than this, though. We gotta put our secret ingredient in. Flour. Alright, the flour thickened it up a lot. It's looking pretty close to the right consistency now. All right, here we go. Well, I'm not gonna be able to eat with this big spoon. Here we go. Hmm. That's good. Put the cover on that. Remember one time in college, I made a uh, beef bourguignon for my roommates and I had like a giant Tupperware of it for like the next week and a half and serving that stuff over rice or noodles. It's just so good. I have a lot of fond memories of making it from scratch without a pressure cooker. So it is going to be a biased opinion of mine, but I do think that it tasted better with the hard labor put in. However, even though this is watery, which is also 100% my fault, it's hitting at like an eight or a nine right now. I uh, foolishly put more water in because I was worried that it wasn't going to be watery enough and it was too watery. This bread and the beef bourguignon, bussin'. <laughs> One thing about this build is there's not really like a good place to hang out and eat. Just on the bed. I don't know if it's just the soup or if it's the heater, but I'm getting nice and toasty now. I did bring my super puffy bag. <clears throat> this one's rated for negative 30. And it's fun and colorful. So in case it gets really cold tonight, I can sleep in that. The elephant in the room is that I haven't uh, been with my white truck for a while. Maybe you guys have noticed that. It's been in the shop for like a month and it's not anything super serious. It was honestly just like a crunch washer um, for my axle or transmission fluid or something. Um, but I also had to get my exhaust replaced after the Dalton Highway in Alaska. But the truck is getting old and pains me to say that, you know, might need to start looking at other options. I am very fortunate to have fleets of vehicles like the Bug and like Steve and um, new daily driver. Yeah, that's the status of the truck. The, uh, the start of the channel and the main camping feature. So we'll have to wait and see when it's done. I was told it was gonna be done this week. That's what's been going on with the truck. I know some people have been wondering. So hopefully I have news for you in the near future. Dinner was really good. I would definitely recommend you make some beef bourguignon if you haven't before and if you haven't tried it before this uh instant pot recipe would be a great easy way to introduce you to the the flavor town well i was just gonna go to bed or relax in my bed but i gotta go make a stinky Alright, this is the time to shut the camera off. See you in a second.
I gotta give Gooseberry Falls State Park in Minnesota a uh, shout out on the assist on that one. They also had toilet paper that was two ply. Real nice. I'm gonna shut this up and uh, I'll put this next to me so if I need it in the middle of the night, I can use it. Time to shut my lights off. Oh, jeez. Pulled that down by accident. This bag is a little bit overkill for the weather that we have right now. It being zero degrees outside, I'll be more than comfortable in this, but I'm gonna keep this vent open right here so I don't get too hot and sweat. I will wake you up if uh, I wake up, and if not, I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Bugless. Woke up to somebody driving by my car this morning, and I think he wrote me a ticket. Wish I could explain to him why I ended up staying here, but. Yeah. Oh, it's a warning. Nice. Oh. Something like a rock. All right, I can't very well just stay right next to the lake and not see what it looks like in the morning. So let's go on a little walk, eh? Look at all the snow we got. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but we're supposed to get about two feet of snow within the next three days. So this is nothing. Wendy. Oh yeah. Should have brought a fishing rod. It is a windy one this morning though. If you guys are in the area ever, this is called Gooseberry Falls State Park. It's pretty gorgeous. Good place to check out on your uh, Northern Minnesota adventure. Luckily enough for me, it's only a 40 minute drive from where I'm at, but from wherever you're at, it's probably worth it if you haven't seen it before. Buggy. What's up, Bugless? Latch the sucker up. All right. Oh. Successful night camping. It's great. I wasn't bothered all night until this morning. And all it was just a pavement park fee, so I was gonna do that anyway. They just didn't have a pen, and I didn't have them either, so I'm gonna go do that on my way out. We're also gonna find the bugs home for the winter. I am just going to put my ticket in here because I can't find a pen. Ka chow. Let's get home. Get you nestled safely under the tree. <laughs>